A 250-year-old piece of math called Bayes' theorem is one of the cores of building a machine that learns from experience. I'm not going to waste your time explaining this in detail. At its core, Bayes' theorem is just a formal way of doing something your brain already does naturally, updating your beliefs when you get new evidence. The whole point is to figure out P of H given E, or the probability of our hypothesis being true, given the new evidence. First, you need your P of H, your prior. Before you see any new evidence, how likely is your theory to be true? For example, the chance a random person in a coffee shop is a software engineer might be 5%. Next, you need your P of E given H, the likelihood. It asks, if my hypothesis is true, what's the chance I would see this evidence? For example, if they are a software engineer, the chance their laptop is covered in coding stickers might be 40%. Now, you just multiply those two numbers together. But here's the final step. You have to adjust for the evidence itself. You need P of E, the probability of the evidence. It asks, how common is this evidence in general? For example, the chance any random person has stickers on their laptop might be 10%. So you take your initial guess, multiply it by how well the evidence fits, and then divide by how common that evidence is. And the number you get is your new, updated, more accurate belief. But how does this connect to AI? The the simplest way to think about this is the autocomplete on your keyboard. You type happy and it guesses birthday. That's the basic principle. But what's happening inside an LOM is infinitely more complex. And the first thing you need to know is that the AI isn't even working with language. Being a machine, an AI doesn't understand language, emotion, or context. It only understands one thing, numbers. So before an LLM can even begin to read your sentence, it has to translate it into a language it can understand. This process is called tokenization. It breaks down your words into smaller pieces or tokens. For example, the word unbelievable might become three separate tokens, un, believe, and able. Each of these tokens is then assigned a unique number. So when you give it a sentence, it's not reading English. It's converting your sentence into a long string of numbers. The LLM's only job is to look at that sequence of tokens and answer one question over and over again. Given this exact sequence of tokens, what is the most statistically probable next token? And that is a purely Bayesian question. Let's say the sequence of tokens represents the phrase, the cat sat on them. The LLM is now essentially solving a massive Bayesian problem. Its hypothesis, H, is a potential next token, like the token for Matt. Its evidence, E, is the immediate context, the entire sequence of tokens that came before. It's trying to figure out the probability of the token mat being the correct next one, given the evidence of the cat sat on the, the neural network computes probability scores for thousands of possible next tokens and picks the one with the highest score. It adds that token to the sequence, and then the whole process starts over again. Now, I know what the purists are thinking. An LLM doesn't directly calculate Bayes' theorem. And you're right. But that's like saying an airplane doesn't calculate the law of gravity. It doesn't have to. It's an engine that has been designed to operate within that law. And Bayes' theorem, updating your beliefs based on new evidence, is the most powerful tool we have, not just for building AI, but for how we think. It's the engine of science, curiosity, and the simple mathematical process of getting less wrong over time.